Hey guys, welcome to Brockcode. In today's video, we're going to talk about a powerful and concise way to create lists in Python. This is called list comprehensions. So what exactly are list comprehensions? Simply put, they are a concise way to create lists in Python. Instead of using traditional loops and list append operations, list comprehensions allow you to generate lists in a single line of code. They work by using a for loop to iterate over a sequence and return a new list with the results of each iteration inside the list. Now that you know what list comprehensions are, let's dive into how to write a list comprehension. This is the basic syntax of writing list comprehensions. It looks like this. Expression for i in sequence. Expression is the value to be added to the new list. I stands for the iterator, and this is the variable that iterates over the sequence. And the sequence could be lists, numbers, or even dictionaries. So this is the formula to writing list comprehensions. Now let's look at a concrete example. Let's create a list with the squares of numbers from 0 to 9. To do so, we can use our formula that I showed you last time, which is expression for i in sequence. Now our expression is going to be very similar to the one that we used in the formula. To create a list with the squares of numbers from 0 to 9, we can start off with a variable and we'll say squared list. And we'll put the brackets and we'll think about our expression. What do we want to add to the new list? We want to add the squared numbers. And in Python, when you want to square numbers, you use double ASCII marks. And once you do so, uh, you add a number to right after it. So let's just say the variable is x for x in sequence. Now what's the sequence? The sequence is going to be the range function. So the range function uh, from 0 to 9. Uh, we don't write 9 like that because it's not inclusive. So we're going to say up to 10. Now let's see what this does by printing it out. Print square list. Now let's go ahead and run this. When we run it, you can see a list in the console from 0 all the way to 81. And this is the square list. Uh, 0 squared is obviously 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. And so on. Now this shows that it's really easy to make lists like this using list comprehension. Now, let's take it a step further with conditional list comprehensions. These allow you to add a condition to your list comprehension so that you can filter the elements that you're adding to the new list. The syntax for a conditional list comprehension is pretty simple. All you do is take the formula that I gave you earlier and you add if at the end, followed by the condition. This is the basic formula. To show you an example of this, let's use our previous example. And let's say instead of adding all the numbers from 0 to 9, we just wanted to add all the even numbers between 0 and 9. To do so, we add the keyword if, and you do the action. What do you want to filter? Now, I want all the even numbers between 0 to 9. So I'm going to use the modulo symbol, modulo 2, equal to, equal to, zero. What this does is basically divides the number and checks if there's a remainder. If the remainder is zero, it must be an even number. If there's a remainder of one, it's not. As you can see in the console, I get the square numbers of all the even numbers from zero and nine. Now this is a powerful tool that you can use. The conditional list comprehension gives you more flexibility and power with using list comprehensions. Now it's your turn to practice. Create a new list with the cubes of the numbers from 1 to 10 using the list comprehension syntax, but only the cubes of the numbers from 1 to 10 that are divisible by 3 should be inside the list. Pause the video and give it a try. If you've successfully completed this challenge, please give yourself a pat on the back. And before we move on, I'd invite you to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notifications so that you won't miss another learning opportunity. And now, let's get started. 
So step one is to create a list of cubes of numbers from zero to 10. And to do so, you just start with the brackets and we're gonna say I to the power of three because we're Cuban. And we're gonna say four I in range zero to 11. Because remember when, when I said that if we put 10 that it's not inclusive it's just going to be go up to 0 to 9 not up to 10 so if we want it to go up to 10 we have to say 11 now after this step 2 is to only put the numbers in the list of those that are divisible by 3 so we know that we're going to get involved with some conditions so we're going to say if i mod 3 equal to equal to 0 how do we know if a number is divisible? Well, if there is no remainder, if the remainder is zero, that's how we know it's divisible. Now we're gonna store this in a, vi in a variable called cubes list. And we're going to print this variable and see what it gives us in the console. Let's hit run. As you can see, we get a list of cubes of numbers between zero to 10 that are divisible by three. And this is the solution. This is what you should have got in your console. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this explanation of list comprehensions and conditional list comprehensions helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.